Hello, this is Joseph James from Miller Crystal Junkies, and we have news out of Universal Studios Orlando. Yes, even more attractions are closing this year. I think I've I've seen so many. We've seen so many attractions close this year. I mean, we have Boomer, Boomerang close. We had Europe in the Air close this year. Um, we've had um several attractions close this year, and I guess that's making way for new attractions coming in the future. So. Now we have Dragon Challenge. Now this has been rumored for a while, and um, it'll be closing later this year. And um, yeah, it's going to be closing at the end of the season. And um, yeah, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's going to be making a way for a new roller coaster, which is always exciting, coming in 2019. And the park has stated this is a next generation of thrill ride, and it's going to be a very highly themed experience on a roller coaster. Now, there's not really much release on the ride yet, but I don't really have any predictions. It's kind of hard to predict with these kind of parks, um, in my opinion. I mean, with the uh, bigger chain parks like um, Cedar Fair and Six Flags and um, SeaWorld, it's a little bit easier to predict because they usually have five-year plans. And this is just coming out of the D23 Expo. I mean, we already have a lot of um, stuff coming with the... Um, they're going to be having a lot of competition. Now, when Harry Potter World um, was released a couple of years back, a lot of people said it's not going to have, like, it's not going to be as popular in the future years. I mean, they're they're barely keeping Harry Potter alive, um, in my opinion. Um, I mean, they're going to have another fantastic um, beast movie or whatever it's called. I, I'm not really into this stuff. But, I mean... And then over at Disney, we have Star Wars, and everybody knows what Star Wars is, and everybody, I think, is a fan of Star Wars, even if you're not the biggest fan. You you know what the movies are, and if you haven't seen a Star Wars movie, um, yeah, you're, you're not up to date with pop, pop culture, and um, and that's very rare. Um, I don't even know anybody that hasn't even watched a single Star Wars movie, or there's nobody I know that doesn't know what Star Wars is. So I think Disney Star Wars is going to be a big combination. And they're also getting Tron um, next year at Disney World, and they're also getting another ride, uh, the uh, replacing the Great Movie Ride. And um, yeah, they're getting a couple of new rides in the future years. Um, the big one is Tron, and the other big one is Star Wars Land, which is also known as Galaxy Edge or whatever you want to call it. But over at Universal Studios, I mean, this is a really big competition for them, and um, yeah, they could use a new roller coaster, and we've been rumoring a Dragon Challenge closure for a while now, and it, it's, it's like, it wasn't, it's kind of lost it, its vibe, I mean, it, it's a great, they're both great B&M inverts, um, the thing is they don't race it anymore, and that's what they were meant to do. Um, they're probably, in my opinion, going to be doing the parts I mean, there's some parts that need to be in a movie for now. This gets moved to King's Dominion. King's Dominion really needs to be in a movie for Valley Fair. Um, the Cedar Fair is really good. Not one movie. These, these are two. This is two B and M parts. And one part might not have a race, but they might have one. I think if we just have one of them, I mean, you wouldn't really think about it. I think the thing is, if there was one of these on one of the sides, um, Hungarian, like, or Denmark, or whatever. have one side, I mean, you wouldn't think about it racing, I don't think it would really take away from the experience, and, um, I mean, this ride's been, like, stripped so much, um, over the years, and it doesn't really fit into the Harry Potter area, they tried to make it where it kind of fit in, but it, it just kind of stands out, and it doesn't really fit in, and I'm kind of glad they're getting a Harry Potter-themed roller coaster into the park, so, um, yeah, that's really good for... Universal Studios Orlando, and I think these rides have to get moved somewhere. Um, I don't know what parks would be getting them, but they they definitely need to be moved somewhere. And thank you for watching. This has been Joseph James from Roller Junkies, and thanks for watching, and have a good day.